Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing buljol and buljol is a saltfish or salted cod recipe and this is a really famous ingredient in the islands. It's used in almost everything. You can put saltfish um, in soups, you can make it into fritters and you can also make it this way that I'm going to show you today. It's very simple and it's so flavorful. You can have it with fried bake. You can have it with pot bake, which I'm gonna show you in one of my videos. You can also have it with coconut bake. It can be enjoyed with anything. It's really, really um, a diverse dish. So if you guys wanna see how I do it, then keep watching. So these are the few ingredients you're gonna need for the bowl jowl. The first thing I have is about 12 ounces of salt fish or salted cod. And what I did was I boiled it twice. The first time I boiled it, um, and I threw out the water after about 15 minutes. Then I added some more water, boiled it again and threw out the water. So that should get rid of the salt. And if you have more time on your hands, you can also leave it overnight to soak in some water and that'll also work even better than boiling it. So I'm just gonna chop this up really finely or you can even break it up with your hands. The next thing I'm gonna use is an onion. You can also use a red onion if you want. I have a whole hot pepper I may use probably half, depending on how hot it is when I cut it open. And I have one scallion or scythe, one tomato. I have a few sprigs of cilantro and just a little bit of celery leaf. So I'm gonna cut everything up. I'm gonna dice the tomatoes into small cubes. Same thing with the onion and everything. Everything is gonna be cut really finely. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare everything and then I'll come back and we'll just assemble it. everything now now what we're gonna do is just assemble it it's so easy we're just gonna put everything together and taste it for salt and pepper so now that everything's mixed really well you can taste it for salt or pepper and when you use salt fish you really don't need to to add salt I'm also gonna add a little bit of black pepper and you can give it a taste see if it needs anything so I think mine is perfect it doesn't need salt or pepper or anything and you can eat this with fry bake with coconut bake with pot bake which I'm gonna be eating it with today and I'll link a recipe to that in the description box below and the info above so I hope you guys enjoy this really simple bulljol recipe I hope it was simple enough and um, 
if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button like the video and leave me comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye